Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5975G White Gold Multi-Scale Anniversary Chronograph. You can see and you can purchase this limited edition of 400 pieces on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of this screen at any time during the video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Patek. Philippe 175th Anniversary Limited Edition. Now you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The 40 millimeter watch sits even with excellent proportions. The lugs taper beautifully around the wrist. The watch manages to be fairly large for a Patek Philippe, but at the same time fits a small wrist such that I could see someone with a wrist of 14 and a half to 15 centimeters circumference wearing this watch easily. It is slim. The timepiece is only 10 0.6 millimeters thick, and you can see with the generously sloped case flank and bezel, it does slide underneath the dress cuff. Now, the lugs themselves are fairly short cropped for a 40 millimeter round case. They span 46.7 millimeters from extremity to extremity across the wrist, and believe me, it fits a little bit smaller than its 40 millimeter nominal diameter would suggest this is an easy watch to wear but you will note it feels a little heftier than you may first expect a little bit closer to platinum than white gold and the reason for that is a solid commemorative case back Patek Philippe 175th anniversary 1839 to 2014 the watch also features a matte black alligator leather monotone stitch folded edge strap and everything about this watch speaks to the sense of occasion. Even the folding clasp features a special Calatrava cross cap denoting 1839 to 2014, the anniversary year. This buckle is exclusive to the anniversary models. White gold like the rest of the watch, perhaps I should clarify what I mean when I say white gold here. This alloy is actually what is known by jewelers and watchmakers as gray gold in as much as it is not a plated traditional white gold. There's no milky yellow substrate underneath. Gray gold is white, yes, but it's also homogenous, so if scratched or dented, you simply see more white gold underneath. Now you can see the case is remarkably expressive, with fluted lugs, a strong horizontal case band, and a beautiful contrast between the upturned polished lip of the bezel and its broader conical form. This is a watch that is spectacular in every detail, and that's before we even get to the matte silver triple scale dial. Now, Patek Philippe calls this a multi-scale dial. Outermost, you have a telemeter, which is used to gauge the distance of an event from the observer. Inboard of that, there is a pulsation scale, which is used by doctors, physicians, to count to 15 pulses, and you can see graduate pour compulsation, and you can see when you count to 15 with the, well we may as well run the chronograph, with the chronograph running and then stop it, it will extrapolate that count, that 15 pulse count, out to a minute so you know what the beat per minute rate is for the patient, and inboard a traditional tachymetric scale. Now that allows you to gauge the speed of an object over a known distance such as a kilometer or a standing mile. Inboard you could see polished and applied faceted white gold hour indices, white gold Dauphine style hands at center, and a blackened Lancet style chronograph seconds hand. And you will notice that the watch only has a chronograph seconds hand. Now it does feature the refinement of a flyback, but this is the most minimalist of chronographs, designed to appeal to those who prefer three-hand watches without complication, but you do get the chronograph functionality as well as the flyback complication and automatic winding. Now the watch is exceptionally thin by virtue of its solid case back, but underneath is a variant of the CH28520 automatic, first debuted on the Nautilus 5980 and the annual calendar chronograph 5960 in 2006. Automatic winding with a 35 to 45 hour power reserve in most applications. Here, with none of the complications to draw. It actually has an increased power reserve of 50 to 55 hours. Now the watch features Patek Philippe's ceramic rotor bearings for 
minimal maintenance needs on the automatic winding system and high efficiency. It also features a vertical clutch and a column wheel. So the vertical clutch making for very smooth engagement with no jump when you activate the chronograph, but also and critically on a watch with just three hands and no other registers, it allows you to run the chronograph continuously with no hazard to the watch. So the timepiece becomes a very handsome, continuous, seconds, minutes, and hour display. Now there are other refinements including Patek Philippe's traditional Gyromax style free sprung balance to take and hold a precise regulation and withstand rough vibrations and bumps on the wrist without losing its precision. At the same time there is resistance to magnetism by virtue of Patek Philippe's Silicon Spiromax hairspring. This is a timepiece that offers immense complexity but hidden, cloaked underneath the minimalist dial and the solid case back is a sophisticated modern vertical clutch column wheel chronograph movement. Atop the classical imagery of three scales rarely positioned in tandem on a single reference from Patek Philippe and a case with every square millimeter the sense of occasion for the 175th anniversary. You can see this limited edition of 400 Patek Philippe 5975G in white gold and buy it on our website.